Hi, my name is Harpreet. I'm an application specialist at CAD Microsolutions. In this video, we'll be looking at SWOOD. Specifically, we'll be looking at how to create band panels. One of the unique features of SWOOD is its ability to compute stock required to create the design panel. So for example, in this panel that I'm working with here, I have embedded the information that the grain of this of the wood that is required to create this panel is going to be at an angle of 45 degree from the length of this panel. So when I go into the edit panel, then at that point my stock will be displayed. However, at this point, it's zero degrees. I do not want it to be zero degrees. I want the grain to be along the length of, at, at an angle of 45 degrees. So I'm going to display add that information here. So when I do so, you can see that the stock required to create this panel has increased as well. This information can be reused downstream while creating drawings or while creating billow materials. Now what would happen in a case when I'm working with a bent panel? Now when you're working with bent panels, the situation gets a little tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new panel first in a part. So first I'm going to define my supporting sketch that will define the cross section of my bent panel. So the one that I'm going to use, it's going to be a circular arc and let me give it some dimension as well. I'm going to give it a dimension of let's say 500 millimeters. And then I'm going to do a thin extrude on it. And I'm going to define a dimension of 19 millimeters uh, thickness. And it's going to be a blind extrude of 500 millimeters. It's just ra random numbers that I've chosen. Now let's see what would happen when I do the edit panel uh, command on this panel and see what the stock is being used. So when I do edit panel, then we see that the stock being used, it's quite big. The way it's interpreting the panel right now is that you have this big of a stock and from this, this bent panel will be cut out. It won't be bent. Uh, we are looking to bend this panel, so we'll have to define it accordingly as well. So to do that, what we are going to do is we're going to tell Sword that it's a curved panel and it can be defined under the options for the edit panel here and we have this drop down menu and here I can choose what kind of panel it is. So I have curved panel here, I'm going to choose that and for the supporting sketch I'm going to define or select the sketch that was used to extrude along a certain direction. So I'm going to select that sketch and automatically as soon as I define it's able to recognize that it's a curved panel and it's able to flatten that panel as well and find out what stock will be required to create this panel. So that's how you define a bent panel in SWIT. I hope this information was useful for you. If you would like to see more videos such as this one, please follow us on social media or go to our website at cadmicro.com.